Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I'm showing off my B9 team. I know this team isn't really farmable or anything, but um, I still want to show it to you guys to show show my progress and all that stuff. So I'm going to do a run and then I'm going to go over the, their gems right after the video. I guess, if anything, it just helps you see, um, you know, maybe what sort of gems you might need in order to clear B9. You definitely don't need units that are like... You know, like like the exact units to, to run this team, and this team isn't even built for for B9. It's just a really stable uh, dungeon team in general. Like I could pretty much use this team for anything, and it would do fine. Um, I basically gem my units mostly defensive. You know, with the C C star being like a defense aggressor, so just stack full defense. Um, kind of the, did the same thing on my Hana and Cupid. I think I put like two defense slot, one HP on my Hana. I used to have one recovery slot, but she's only five stars, so she she does die a lot more easily. And I do run two healers, so I don't really need her to like heal a lot. I just kind of need her to um, to use her buff sometimes to to make sure my my units have a defense buff on them um, pretty much at all times. Like once she's able to to get to the boss level. Um. You know, I've tried before with a full fire team at 5 stars, and it didn't exactly work that well. Um, so I, I decided to just use a, a double healer comp. At the very, very least, like, even though this comp is very, very slow, um, at the very least I'm able to farm this, and I will continue to be able to get those triangle slot runes. And then eventually in the future, once I have, like, proper proper gems, um, I can I can start nuking this stage. So the main problem with this team is it has no sap, meaning that if it's on full auto, it does take quite a while. Because um, the if, if you guys didn't know the boss, the the golem boss, the the right one, he has like a, or I mean the the at the boss stage, um, the the two rock things at the on the side. I have no idea what they're called, like the sentries or something. They're whatever they are um, on the side. The one on the right has a lot of HP. It actually has more HP than the boss. Um, and it's meant to not be killed, but the the good thing is it does help you generate a lot of uh, blue soul. The bad thing is it help it makes it so the fight drags on for a really long time if you don't click to focus the boss. So on full auto, my units just basically attack anything at random. Um, they don't they don't really care. And one of the problems is the, the the one on the side pretty much never dies. So I'm basically forced to kind of split my damage in half when I'm when after I kill the one on the on the left um, you'll you'll see this very very soon so with my double healers and defense buff I can basically keep uh, my team alive at all times like even if this thing drags on for like even if the fight drags on for like half an hour I can still keep my team alive with two 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 debuffers um, my Caesar is very very tanky, but she doesn't have very high resist. So as you can see just now, she la it landed a lot of dots, but that was like pretty much worst case scenario. Like you pretty much just already seen the worst case scenario just now. Um, and it's, this team is a hundred; it has not failed yet. But I've I've only ran it like maybe 20 times. Um, so as you can see, this is taking a very very long time because they if they do decide to focus the one on the side, um, this is just gonna take forever. And the good thing is I have a shield. I, I have one monster that has a shield, meaning that I'll be able to basically, um, you know, have immunity against against the sap. And if any unit falls like you know way too low, all my, both my healers are gonna have their have their heal up. So my team is basically gonna have a shield and a defense buff at, up at pretty much all, at all times, um, or at least one of them up at all times. So, uh, unless nobody falls below 50% HP, but if nobody falls b below 50% 50, 50 HP, then it doesn't even matter in the first place. So as you can see, this part actually takes a long time. Sometimes they, like if my luck is really bad and they decide to just hit, keep, keep hitting the sentry on the side, then um, then obviously it takes really, really long. And you know, if, if I am happen to be sitting, sitting here on the side while I'm farming, I'll, I'll definitely click to focus the boss. Um, that will definitely make things a lot easier. But yeah, I, I, I kind of just have to do what I can to, to get by for now. Um, I'm not planning to farm this for very, very long. I'm planning to do this for like, you know, maybe three, four days, and then I can get a lot of like triangle um, defense slots. And then I'll be able to gem a lot of my units up with like triangle slots and then probably move on to maybe B8 and then work on that for maybe two days or so. 
and get some square slots for like my Arthur and stuff. And then I'll probably from then on be able to move on to B10 um, very, very soon. Originally, I was planning on using a Sapper team for B10, but I actually tested this team and actually works for B10. Like it's not stable, but it, it has a like a pretty high chance to, to beat B10 as well. Um, but I just want to make sure everything is like perfect and, and stable before I move on to B10. Um, oh shit, decided to repeat the stage again. Alright, in order to not waste time, not waste your time, I will, I will waste some energy and I will go back to the airship and show all my gems. Alright, so where, where, are, where are they? Okay, so this is my. All right, let's go, let's start with the C star. Uh, she's on broken set because I, I I don't I can't make a full set because that actually requires you to have a lot of gems. Um, but she's on a broken set and I have her on defense. Um, this is pretty shitty. Defense, defense, and crit. I think. Yeah, crit rate. I definitely want to change this to like a six star crit rate gem. Probably gonna switch this out. Get this to like plus fifteen or something so she can crit a lot more and crit more often. Because she is dark, and dark monsters have have just higher base crit damage. Um, my Arthur is on attack, attack double HP. Um, originally, I had him with double attack, but then I I was testing this out. Like I was testing him out for B10, and then I decided to switch to double HP to try to make things more stable. I'm probably gonna keep him like this. Um, I would have went with attack HP defense, but I don't have a defense um, a defense protection set. But the protection set does give him 20% defense, so it's not it's not the worst, all right. Um, my Cupid is on HP. Oh my god, I think what the heck is that? Um, my that was some weird Nox shit. Uh, my Cupid is on HP, 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 triple HP. Um, all plus 12, all five star gems because I don't think I can get six star ones. But they're still they're still pretty decent, and I just have him on like pretty high HP pool. Um, he's on he's at evil two as well. Decided to gleam him for to to make him evil two, and you know C star evil three, R three evil two, um, Cupid's also evil two. My Hana is also at evil two. I went with uh, I went with defense defense. I think it was yeah defense defense HP. This is only a four star gem. I think in the future I'm definitely gonna switch put this one in because this one has recovery and resist. And then I'm gonna take out the this defense gem and probably put switch a switch a recovery gem back in or something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much all I can do for for my Hana. Um, if I do decide to use him for B10, if I just use him for use her for B9, she's okay like this. She's definitely able to um, sustain herself and and sustain half like half sustain the team with with these gems because I do run double double heal. I don't think he's this he can be a hundred percent like you know classified as a healer because he does have HP aggression meaning that he's able to do some damage while healing um, so yeah, that that kind of cuts my cuts my time down a little bit as well so yeah that's pretty much it um, hopefully you guys found this video somewhat helpful in just you know building your own team for B10 as well obviously the team's not farmable it's not very um, it's there's no strategy really behind this team besides running a double healer. Like the kind of the only thing I learned from this is you can actually make it with a double healer if you can if you uh, if you gem them right, and if you would just want to build like a really defensive team if, and don't care about the clear time and just want to be able to start clearing it. I think it's always nice to be able to start clearing it before you worry about clear time because I can't really afford to worry about clear time when I can't even beat it in the first place. This will help me. Um, progress to the next step if I if I just you know bear with it and farm for another three days or so non-stop um, yeah and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I'll definitely um, be making more in the future and if you guys liked it be sure to like it if you guys didn't then you can dislike it and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out